Southwest Hot Chefs and Restaurants is brought to you in part by Gen Air, where innovation has finally caught up with your appetite for the extraordinary. Thanks for rejoining us. We are putting together this hearty, healthy, delicious green chili stew. I'm with Ariane from Cervantes. And, and one pot. One pot. I said, yeah, thank you. That is the key for me. I love not having to wash 10 pots for one, one dish. Well, now you can see that our meats have released some amazing juices. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very nice and lean. So let's add our onions. We'll get that going. Do you like cooking on this, Jenner? I love it. It's, it's great. It's really, it's really just so sleek. Look at the look. It's just really got a simple, understated, beautiful, beautiful slide in range. Yeah, if you want to give it a stir there for me, Ginger, that'd be awesome. We're going to wait till those um, onions are just slightly translucent. Translucent. Okay. Right. So you don't want them to be burned by any means, okay. but you want them to continue to, to cook with the meat. Okay. You know, it's, what's interesting is um, I grew up in New Mexico eating green chili stew. Mm -hmm. When my parents made it, the pot was like as big as this. So it's, right. this is serves probably four people, four, four to people. six. Okay, and four when you make six. it at home, oh, of course we use yeah, the big, the pots. big pot, right. and then everybody eats it all day watching football. Right, and, yeah. and it's a great meal. You know, you can wonderful as a leftover. Yes, the be the next day sometimes it's even better the next right. day, and then the next day. You know, one fun thing that you can do with your green chili stew, and we call them stuladas. You mm. can make enchiladas with your green chili stew. Oh. Just you'll use a slotted spoon and use that as your filling for your enchiladas. There's a Love lot of things that. you can do with New Mexican cuisine. You can cross over between entrees. So it's not just about burritos, enchiladas, tacos. Yeah. There are a lot of different things. Let's add I, I want to come eat at your house. That's delicious. <laughs> I really... I really would pick up a lot of tips, I think. Let's add the potatoes. Now the potatoes, of course, you're gonna have them nice and chunked. This, you know, inch cubes. Yeah, cube. they're like one inch cubes. Yeah, exactly. Okay, great. Now you wanna just stir it in here a little bit longer, just until the potatoes are slightly tender. So let's add our green chili. The and this is the part that makes it easy. Not only one pot. Exactly. But you can buy the Cervantes green chili pour it in. You don't have to make your right. own or right. bag or Right, roast. exactly. And, and this again, recipe is on southwestrestaurants.com. Exactly. So you can make this at home by following that recipe. Right. And again, New Mexico grown, only green chili. And, yeah, that's fantastic. A little trick, sometimes, you know, when you get these jars at home, they're a little tight. You just hold it very firmly, give it a nice little pop. Okay. You heard that little? Yeah. And then you, oh, well, let's do it harder. There you go. Yeah, and nice. There's one. Can I try? Are we going to do two? Uh, yeah, well, yeah, we can do two. Absolutely. We don't have to. I don't want to deviate no. from the recipe. No, let's do. Not. Let's do two. I want to try your trick. That's the more all. chili, the better, right? Okay, so just pop it here. Yeah, just give it a nice firm. Okay. Yeah. There you go. In the pot. I told you earlier, I'm freakishly strong. Believe me. <laughs> I am. I'm freakishly strong. Okay. Go ahead. I would add about half of that. Half of it. Okay. Yeah, just about half. Great. And we are at Builder Source Appliance Gallery in Albuquerque. Right. Filming oh. in this state-of-the-art Jenner kitchen. Right. Now you want to add just a little bit of water, or you can add stock. You can okay. add a vegetable stock. Chick vegetable or chicken stock? Right. What Oops. do you prefer? Do you prefer the water? Um, you know, it really is your own preference. I like a vegetable stock. The water works just, just fine as well. You know what's interesting to me is that Cervantes started, you said, 30 years ago. Yes, 35 Aaron, actually. 35 years ago. Yes, by my mother-in-law. I don't want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> but by your mother-in-law. Yes. And the recipes, you're, you do still have all these heirloom traditional recipes. Absolutely. With a healthy take. Absolutely. You kept the recipes, but you found a way to make them healthier. Well, let me tell you, that's how the restaurant was founded. It was founded on the notion that New Mexican cuisine can be healthy, mm -hmm. even in a restaurant setting. So how long do we need to simmer this for? You want to simmer about 30 to 45 minutes. You want to test, test your potatoes to make sure that they're tender, but not mushy. Okay. Okay. And we don't have that long. No. So through the magic of television. That's right. <laughs> let's get our, let's get some Like my four year old says, done. magical, 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 poof. And all of a sudden it appears ready. Oh, that let's get just some smells dessert. wonderful. And in fact, Mmm, okay, that is the smell that I smell on Sundays at my house. I love that. Now you can see how all these meats have just, do you, okay. everything's cooked together. Okay, and do you, um, you, if you, if you make a bigger pot, you let it simmer longer? Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah, this, 30 to 40 minutes is just for this size pot. Oh, that smell is wonderful. Okay, and now this some. is thoroughly warmed? That's yeah. right. I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, and I have uh, tortillas warmed and and the nice part about this is that on a cold day, 
in the winter, even in the summer. An interesting thing that I've read is that even when you eat hot chili in the summertime, people think, oh, I don't want to eat hot chili because it's too hot. It really isn't because the, your external temperature and your internal temperatures uh, sort of uh, balance out. Yes. And so it doesn't make you hot. That's interesting. I even, I crave hot food in the summer. There you go. On hot days. There so. you go. And ice Would cream. you like a little garnish? Yes, I would. Oh, good. Let's do a little bit of, we'll do a little dollop of sour cream. Now this is a low fat sour cream. Again, with the idea. Don't you can, tell me. Oh, I'm, I know. But you can afford a pound or two. <laughs> there you All go. Right. And then I also have tomatoes if you want a little bit of tomato in that. Good, just like this. Mm. It's hot. Mm -hmm. mm. There you so go. So flavorful. And your tortilla. Don't forget your tortilla. No. Oh, thank you so much, Ariane. You're welcome. You made a Enjoy. wonderful dish. I dig it. So good. And thank you.